Kings and queens are pretty much a thing of the past. The few that are around these days are mostly symbolic with little real power. So isn't it old-fashioned to celebrate a feast in honor of Christ the King? Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, with a few thoughts about today's feast. On this last Sunday of the church's calendar, before we begin a new church year with Advent, we celebrate a relatively recent feast. In 1925, Pope Pius XI wrote an encyclical instituting a feast in honor of Christ the King. He said that he wanted the church to celebrate this feast to counteract what he called the plague of modern society. What is that plague, which I have to say has grown even more serious since 1925? Well, listen to what Pope Pius wrote back then. With God and Jesus excluded from public life, with authority derived not from God but from man, the very basis of that authority has been taken away. The result is that human society is tottering to its fall because it has no longer a secure and solid foundation. In establishing throughout the Catholic world the feast of the kingship of Christ, we are meeting the need of the day and supplying a remedy for the plague that afflicts modern society. That plague is secularism. What Pope Pius means here is that the world, having forgotten God, sees life only in material terms with no thought to the spiritual. Let's acknowledge Jesus as our Lord and King and ask him today to reign over all hearts. O Jesus, I acknowledge you as King of the universe. All that has been created was made for you. Exercise over me all your rights. I offer you today all my thoughts, words, and deeds. May they advance your kingdom of justice and peace, of mercy and love. Amen. For more information, visit our website at www.apostleshipofprayer.org.